At exactly 0223 hours over the silent Black Sea, three Ukrainian FP-1 naval drones to strike the one Russian ship that had been listening, predicting, hunting them for weeks. The hunter was about to become the hunted, and by sunrise, Russia's most advanced this spy This is the shocking story of how plywood, patience, and pure genius outsmarted an entire naval doctor. Stay till the end, because what happened next changed drone warfare forever. For six weeks, the R380 like metallic trees Their analysts were just days away from predicting Ukraine's strikes in advance. But as history proves, data can make you Their arrogant. analysts were just days away from predicting Ukraine's strikes in advance. But as history proves, data can make you arrogant. The fatal flaw wasn't in their sensors. It was in their assumption that the Ukrainians would always need a visible satellite link to guide their payloads. The FP-1 drone's genius lay in its simplicity. A system that utilized inertial Locked. navigation. The drones were now autonomous, silent, and running on muscle memory. They were a torpedo that couldn't be heard in a mine. Three FC-1 drones, made of plywood, powered by snowmobile engines, raced across the Black Sea at 180 kilometers per hour. Their radar signature? Smaller than a seagull. Their cost? Less than a Russian officer's monthly pension. Unknown to the Russians, death was approaching just three meters above the waves. Its Canadian-made MX-15 camera could spot a basketball from five kilometers. But plywood doesn't radiate heat like metal, and within minutes, the FP-1s cooled to match the sea. To the Russian operators, the drone's simple vanished. Possible birds, they logged. They just waved through the most successful naval deception since D-Day. The first blast was a shockwave. The second, targeted at the engine room, was incineration. In seconds, the R-381T, the ship that heard everything, was structurally compromised and permanently deaf. Minutes after the FP-1s cleared the coast, Russian Shahed drones arrived. The operators barely escaped, but the mission was already fired. The Russians thought they'd cut off the head of Ukraine's drone program. They didn't realize they'd just burned down a decoy. At 0330, Ukraine launched 20 more, not real drones, but decoys. Jet skis, fishing boats, cheap shells, broadcasting fake signals. Each cost under $10,000 and looked exactly like real naval drones on radar. The Russians saw what they expected, another massive Ukrainian drone assault. Every instinct, every doctrine screamed, defend, defend the country. What followed was pure psychological warfare. Some 27 helicopters launched from Novorossiysk racing toward the fake swarm at 270 kilometers Their per hour. Their sonar buoys and depth charges were the Black Sea's best defense. But Ukraine had flipped the chessboard. Every minute they flew west, the real attack drones flew east. The Black Sea's guard dogs were chasing ghosts, gun. 360 kilometers off target. The FP-1's adjusted course, entering a two kilometer shadow corridor between two Russian Podlet K-1 radars. For four seconds every minute, both radars looked away. Tarlev, a time blind spot discovered after months of study. But the Russians had learned too. They began desynchronizing their radar sweeps at random intervals. The window shrank from four seconds to two. 